Wanda. That's it. Finally, I remember her name. Wanda Blake. I remember how her grandma had a fit at the wedding when she found out Wanda wasn't going to take my last name. Wonder how Grandma Blake is these days. She could be dead for all I know. Hell, everyone I knew could be dead. Still can't recall all my life. But the pieces are coming together. Faster now. Every flash of memory adds another string of info. Funny how being a walking dead man can screw up your life. At least I remembered Wanda's name. Was driving myself crazy knowing I had a wife I couldn't identify. Only thing is, I don't know if she's alive either. With five years of my life missing, anything might be possible now. After I find her, I can check on my brothers. And mom and dad. I hope they don't mind having a ghost walk into their lives. I miss everyone. Even those I can't remember. Hard to believe I've been away only a few days. It seems like a lifetime ago. I don't know if I even have a life anymore. That's the scariest part. Some answers seem so damn difficult. Like that little fat guy last night. What was that all about? And what was the purpose of that face paint of his? I was so sure he had some knowledge of me. An obnoxious pain in the ass is what he was. Still, there was something familiar about him. Ah, oh, well. He's the least of my problems. What I need to do is get the file on Wanda, see where she lives, start from there. And I know just where the boys at the agency keep that information. Amusing how I used to bitch at them for invading people's privacy. They might have the missing clues I'm looking for. Getting into the building will be a cinch with these powers. I'm almost like a freaking young blood. Wonder if they're still around. There's probably a hundred of them knowing those government stiffs. Exploit and overkill. The motto of any government system. We've got a few scores to settle. Uncle Sam and I. Like number one. How did I die? That one still hasn't come back to me. I'll put that one on the back burner. For now. I have to figure this crap out one bit at a time. First, I have to see Wanda. She's the only reason I'm even back. Then I'm going to find him. The scumbag who's messing with my so-called life. For someone who didn't believe in religion, I sure got thrown into a biblical nightmare. Demons. Souls. Deals. Lies. That's what's in the great beyond. Not some cute old man in a beard. The TV even Gellius would have heart attacks if they knew what lay in wait for them. Guess they'll be getting their just dues. Same as I did. Now that'd be worth seeing. I hope there is another option at death, though. Because Grandma Blake doesn't deserve what I've got. Hell, no one deserves what I've got. It was a hell of a deal I made. Let me see my wife, and you can have my soul. Sounded simple. I never factored in that he'd strip away everything I had. My face, my skin, and he seems to be toying with my memories, giving me selective recall. Well, your time will come, devil. You'd better be prepared. Somewhere in time. <laughs> Push 
my mission is to make your new life a living hell. Yes, my dear friend. It wasn't by accident that you were picked to receive the power. Your life history made you the perfect choice. How amusing. A hired killer now thinks he can have morals. No, Austin is. Morals are not a luxury we are granted. We do because we have to. That is enough. Rhyme or reason are irrelevant. We must grow. Our army must grow. You've been selected to help speed up that growth. And in case you might need a little motivation, I've sent a few friends to keep an eye on you. Thrust is not strong among us. Yes, you and I made a simple deal. Unfortunately, you've got to read the small print. <laughs> Gripe Twitch, what's the cheat thinking of? He's burying us under these stupid reports. Why is he keeping us off the streets? Afraid we might actually get some results? Him and his damn task force. They ain't done, Snot. I'm stuck in this office with this friggin' chair feeling more and more like a pimple on my butt. Plus... I gotta look at your ugly mug, Twitch. Thank you, sir. I'll take that as a compliment. But, no pun intended. That still isn't solving any of our problems. Yeah, yeah, I know. We got a pile of dead mafia wise guys. Minus their hearts. And even though I ain't losing much sleep over them, someone sick is responsible. I don't care if crime is down. We were hired to uphold the law. I'll be damned if I'm gonna let some pencil neck politician wannabe slow me down. Eh, uh, sir? I do so enjoy being with you in your festive moods. de loop de lee de loop de lie I know a hero who's going to die. <laughs> I'm a poet, and I didn't even know it. Better yet, I'm the Violator, and if I don't kill you today, I'll try it later. Dang, I'm good. The CIA, New York Headquarters. Got my wife's file. This should give me some answers. Just need to take care of one small detail. It's almost midnight, Linda. Why don't we call it a night? Perhaps I can buy you a drink. Uh, no thank you, Mr. Miller. My husband's waiting for me. And how is the new hubby anyways? Surely he won't mind if you're not home right on time. Actually, sir, he... Uh, needs me to help cook dinner. At this late hour? Not much of a man if he just sits around waiting for you to cook. Speaking of cooking, why waste those beautiful lips on food when I can think of a number of things I'd much rather see them do? Hmm. Please, Mr. Miller, I... I can't. Oh, yes, you can. But not tonight, I guess. Okay, gather your stuff. I'll see you in the morning, and wear that cute little blue outfit I like so much. Hey! Who's been screwing with my files? You listen, and you listen good. Word is that since your divorce, you haven't paid a penny in alimony. Or child support. I highly recommend that you correct this oversight quickly, because if I have to come back again, she'll get the money from your life insurance policy. Do we understand each other? Sure. Good. There are some of us who would give our lives to have a wife or a family. Oh, yeah. If you ever touch your secretary again, you'll never use those hands again. They always said you were scum, Billy. Uh, how do you know my name? Where are you, damn it? Who are you? Pray you never learn. Yes! That's it! Become evil, vicious, violent! <laughs> She started a scholarship in my name to help the underprivileged. 
She always did have a big heart. But where is she living? Queens? Why would she move there when her parents lived on Staten Island? Must be a reason why. What's this? No! God save me, no. It can't be. Queens, the next day. A 25 minute commute from Manhattan stands a nondescript house. White fence porch, the perfect little hideaway. And the home of Wanda Blake, widow of Lieutenant Colonel Al Simmons. Time to change into human flesh again. Wish I could look like myself, but these powers seem to have a mind of their own sometimes. I can't even change my appearance. Keep turning into this damn white guy. Or shit. I look like some California beach bum. And of all the hair color. Why blonde? That's it. Keep joking then. Maybe your nerves will settle down. Or at least... Your hands will stop shaking. Feel like some stupid school kid going out on his first date. <laughs> now there's a joke. We did it three years, and we're married five. Have to go slow. Feels like I've been gone only a few days. But five years have passed for her. Hope she'll remember. Hope I can count on her. Well, here goes everything. Be right with you. Good day. May I help you? My god, she's even more beautiful. Uh, hello. I'm, um, the, the... What's the matter? It looks like you've seen a ghost. Excuse my appearance. I was just trying this dress on to see if it fits. Big business party tonight. You know the kind. Lots of people, lots of food, minimal fun. But if I don't go, then the whole office gets uptight. <coughs> so what do you think of it? You're good. I mean, it's gorgeous. Thanks. Anyway, you rang the bell, so what can I do for you? All right, now. You've already gone over this. A dozen times. Hit her where she's got a soft spot. Uh, I'm from the SPCA, and we're going around the neighborhood checking to see if the dogs have been licensed. We're having a special this week where you can renew the license for $12, or register for $15. <coughs> What? Where you go, Mama? Excuse me, sweetie. Mommy had to get the door. A man wants to know if your doggy is okay. A girl? The file didn't say anything about a child. How can it be? We couldn't. I thought she couldn't. I'm sorry. She's only 15 months old and still at that clingy stage. Every time I leave the room... She thinks I'm abandoning her. <laughs> Silly girl. Mommy wouldn't leave you. We always wanted children. But something wasn't right. Doctor said it was no use. But it was me. God damn it, it was me! Now, where were we again? I couldn't give her what she wanted most. What I wanted. What? Uh. Terry! Terry! Quick, get down here now! I need help! I'm coming! Mama! Man, fall down! <laughs> I think he's coming too. Where am I? No, Jesus. The file was true. Terry did marry Wanda. Hey, buddy. Take it easy now. You okay? Do you want us to phone a doctor or something? Maybe I could call your family, or your wife. I don't have a wife anymore. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. Me too. Kills me every time I see her. She must have been really special. More than you'll know. Thing is, I don't know why I lost her. It's okay, buddy. Wanda lost her husband five years ago, too. Killed in the line of duty. I'm sorry. All of us were. 
He was the best friend I had. But somehow, through that tragedy, Wanda and I found each other. Took us a long time, though. So you see, we've all been through life's ringer. And even though the hurt doesn't completely go away, the memories of good times are yours to hold on to. Say, how are you feeling anyway? Like a man out of time. Pardon? Nothing. Well, if it makes you feel any better, our dog likes you. A lot. She was my late husband's dog, and she hasn't warmed up to anyone since he died. As a matter of fact, she hates everyone, even Terry. You must have a kind soul. Not anymore. Oh, don't be silly. You strike me as a very strong person. Take that gift and share it with others. I'm sure your ex-wife doesn't want you to stop being yourself. My wife. I mean, my ex-wife doesn't know anything about me anymore. If I try to tell her my feelings, I think I'd ruin her life. She... She seems really happy now. I don't know what to do about that. She's remarried. Has a family now. Even though I love her more than ever, I don't know if it's right for me to invade that happiness. She's as happy and beautiful as you seem to be. What a sweet thing to say. Thank you. You're welcome. Sorry if I ruined your day. As night falls, his pain only mounts. No! Why? Why are you torturing me? What kind of sadistic pleasure are you getting from this? You want my soul? Then come get it. Just try and get it. I was going to give it to you willingly. Do you hear? I just wanted my wife. Can't you understand that? I don't want these powers. I never asked for them or anything else. I only wanted one thing. To see my wife. You could have had my soul. You could have had anything. But you've lied and cheated for the last time. I promise you. You've stolen Wanda from me. Taken my face, my very existence away. And you even had to prove it was me who couldn't produce children. You knew she wanted a child more than anything. Now she has that child. How can I ethically get in the middle of that? If you're going to screw me, I'm going to screw you. You want my soul? Then come get it. Let's see who's got the power. You scumbag. As if on cue. Yo, Mr. Spawn Dude, remember me? We didn't get a chance to share our common interests. Huh? Like killing, and maiming, and slaughtering, and destroying? All the things you did when you were with the government. You and I could have a million laughs together. <laughs> I don't know who or what you are, but I guarantee you picked the wrong time. If you're from the same hell pit I came from, then I've got a message to send back to your boss. Good. They said you had a lot of spunk. So let's see how much heart you have. Gah! Hmm. That was sure simple. The master will be pleased. I live to serve the master. Don't know why he wasted so much time on this guy. I heard he had some special powers. Obviously not enough. I'm tired of the others always being afraid of someone else. It's the violator they should fear most. Not some soft. Flesh and bones of a mere human. 
violator? Who said anything about being human? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and become part of the Al Simmons army. Also, follow the Twitter and help me take down Malabolja. Oh, and happy Halloween. Malabolja, just you wait.